All right, so if you watched the last Mad Muscle Project episode, episode 20, you know I had a hip surgery in April and I'm doing some things to kind of get hip mobility back. So in that episode, I showed you things where I was doing upside down, letting gravity work for me. Basically, what I, th what I think is going on is creating space in the hip capsule. because then I will follow it up with movements like you see here. Now this is a movement for the hip flexor. You'll notice what you wanna do is set that right glute. So squeeze that butt cheek, and then you're just oscillating forward, 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 little oscillations. Now I go out to get the inner thigh, the groin here. Again, just kinda of oscillating, bobbing. Um, just creating space and uh, gaining additional mobility. And again, I find that this is more efficacious or more effective when I do it following that upside down stuff that I showed in episode 20. I mentioned that I go in uh, twice a day to do this stuff and I've been noticing uh, a lot of benefits from it. Now you're going to see me switch over here to the outer hip. You know, notice just kind of the rotation of the band. I'll find something like you'll see this kind of sissy squat thing just sitting there to lean against. It can be a bench, just something to place your foot on. Now the leg that I'm trying to stretch, I will cross over the other one. That's just going to put more uh, traction tension on the outer hip. And then again, same thing, just kind of swiveling, bobbing, circular motions on the outside of the hip. I'll do, you know, you might notice maybe 15 or so bobbing. <laughs> bobbing actions on each side but then when I switch over to my surgical hip which is the left hip I spend a little bit more time there because things are definitely noticeably tighter here you'll just get to see a quick view a lot of times you got to readjust the shorts they're constantly kind of wedging you after you cram that band up in there so tight but you'll see me switch over here to the other side now notice that the uh, rear leg is the one that you're stretching the front leg you can obviously put forward here you'll notice I'm running into a wall basically or a mirror there in front of me so that's why I'm kicking that out to the side, but I honestly find that I get a better uh, just stretch or feeling when I externally rotate that right hip and allow it to uh, allow the left one to be straight on in orientation and then the right one to be basically perpendicular to the band. You'll notice I do kind of swivel, rotate my hips a little bit from left to right, kind of just getting all the nooks and crannies, if you will, a little bit different angles um, on that. You'll see me switch over to the inner thigh here. And then actually, we don't have any footage of the outer thigh. I just decided I was getting too close to the camera and said, no point showing that. I think you all get the picture by that. So again, the upside down stuff I'll do first. Then I will do this kind of stuff. And then I'll follow it with, this is very specific to me. When you have the condition that I have with the femoral tabular impingement syndrome, you have a great lack of internal rotation on hip mobility. So see me here tethering myself to a cable pulley, a low pulley just kind of tucking my foot into this is honestly just like a, a handle attachment you could get an ankle attachment to you'll see me grab my bands and the purpose here is that you're basically using that cable to kind of gently force you into that internal rotation position so my foot's going to come out internally rotate the hip and the band is there to allow me to pull my uh, foot up to have greater knee flexion because otherwise the um just the band would the uh, cable tension would not pull on you properly to get kind of the orientation of the pull you want you basically want a nice um you know kind of perpendicular orientation and you can see how if i didn't have the ability to adjust that knee flexion angle with the band i might not be able to get uh the cable would just want to pull my leg straight rather than rotate it so it would want to take that flex knee and just pull it straight rather than let me rotate now you'll notice I allow various degrees of flexion, and again, I'm just kind of holding different positions. That's all just kind of the, the thought process there being to uh, not simply just work on internal rotation at one degree of one certain uh, fixed amount of knee flexion, but to allow a few different uh, areas, you know, a little more flex, a little less flex, and just hold various, um, you know, torquing me into internal rotation, trying to recoup some of that mobility that I had, not that I had much to begin with. Um, you'll notice there, there's really not... Uh, a whole lot, but I got to work with what I got, work with the bone structure I was given and try and get as much as possible. For So for those of you that have trouble um, hitting depth on squats, having trouble being comfortable down there in the hole, have trouble forcing your knees out, just kind of a variety of things relating to um, hip rotation. Some of it could be due to a degree of uh, lack of internal rotation. And if you notice that's the case for you, a stretch like this is one option. I'll have to do a video on a subsequent occasion showing you one where what I'll do is I will lay face down on a bench and then I will take, say I'm working on my left side, I will leave on um, the thigh of my left side on the bench, let my right thigh sink down off the bench, 
and then again same thing grab the bands and pull into those positions in that case you could orient yourself to a cable stack to get that added tension or you could do it without the thing you do want to be careful on is you will notice um, your mcl that medial ligament in your knee you'll start to feel some kind of odd pressures in there if you put too much weight on the cable or you're torquing too hard on your knee um, with this band again you're trying to feel it more up on the side of your butt cheek in your hip if you're feeling excessive uh, tension in the in the knee you either need to back off a little bit or you know perhaps just kind of give things a quick breather recoup and go ahead and start it again so this is the second thing i do in my sequence of twice daily hip mobility work uh the next video you'll see is basically just the lower body series of uh recover roller or foam roller um self myofascial release techniques i'll do that product is always is available at barbell1.com and i'll catch you in the next video uh, mad muscle project episode 22.